Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my skincare and about my teeth. Yeah, because I've been having some questions about that. Um, I hate to admit it, but I don't really do anything. I have to say that I guess I just have good teeth genetically. And I don't know why I'm trying to talk like this to show you my teeth. You guys have seen it, if you've seen me speak before. I had all four wisdom teeth taken out at the same time, and that was the only thing I ever had really done to my teeth. I've never had braces, I've never gone through any whitening procedures or anything like that. And I do drink coffee and wine. I'm not doing anything to prevent staining of my teeth, you know? I eat everything and I drink everything, so. At one point, I did use Crest White Strips, I can tell you that. I couldn't do the whole 30-day thing, though, because the formula like made my teeth really sensitive and hurt so I only did Crest White Strips for like a week and that was like a couple years ago and I haven't really done anything since. But the toothpaste I used is a natural toothpaste, it's from Whole Foods. I used to use like Crest and all the other bigger brands you know that has baking soda and whitening stuff in it but again that makes my teeth just really sensitive so I kind of shy away from that. To be honest most natural toothpastes don't work at all. This has been the best natural toothpaste that I've ever tried. It not only feels like a generic regular toothpaste but it also feel it makes my breath feel fresh you know it actually feels like I brushed my teeth and I guess it's been instrumental in keeping my teeth white I don't really use mouthwash or anything but once in a while I do um, use Listerine to just clean up my breath only just because I have a bottle but again it's not my, in my everyday routine I definitely use a tongue scraper though like every day or every other day only because I feel like my tongue just gets coated with like that aftertaste of coffee and sometimes wine and just a bunch of other things that make my mouth feel funky so I do use that and overall a tongue scraper is good for the health of your mouth so if you're not using one of those I think you should and maybe that helps keep off plaque and bacteria in my mouth too. I do floss but I am guilty of not flossing every day sometimes I'm bad I'm only doing it like once a week which is like really bad but I do highly recommend flossing every day or every other day if you can manage as well. So yeah, all I do is just brush my teeth twice a day, morning and night, that's it. Sometimes in the middle of the day if I really feel like I have coffee breath, but that's not usual. I use a tongue scraper and I do floss at least once a week. Yikes. So in my medicine cabinet, I have cotton balls or cotton pads or whatever on the leftmost side. and. Um, I am starting to use this witch hazel toner, just a generic version that I got from Target, only because like they can sell you the really fancy expensive ones, but in general you don't really need that. You can get like the CVS version or the Target version or whatever, and they're going to be pretty much the same thing. You're only paying for packaging. You're yeah, I have these two toners that I have had for like five years now. I hope they're still good, but I'm guilty of like needing to finish products. I still have those because I bounce back in between like thinking I need them and then like not using them. But I have been trying to use a toner pretty much like every day on my skin too. Only because like, you know, makeup and stuff gets into your pores or whatever. So it's good to like, you know, clean that up. Uh, they're both Neutrogena, but one is for my pores. And I don't know if you can tell, but like I just have really large pores pores. Well, obviously you can't tell from right here, but I feel like I have large pores, um, so I try to use that. I don't think it's really made a difference, honestly, so it's basically just a toner. And the other one has salicylic acid in it for acne, I guess. Toner is not really part of my daily routine at all, but I'm trying to make it only because I think it's important. Anyway, for face wash, I use a simple uh, face wash. I haven't been using it that long, only about like a couple months. I kind of try to change up my face washes a lot only because I'm still trying to find my favorite. But in general, I do like a face wash that's kind of creamy. It has to have no scent, so I feel like that's why I like this one for now. I just need something that's very gentle, no scent, and like just really creamy. And so far, this is the one that I've been using and I think I like it, but I'm kind of still on the hunt for a good face wash. I use a makeup wipe before I wash my face just to make sure I get off all like my main foundation so it doesn't stain my bathtub or sink. And the brand I'm having to use right now is also simple. And I also use baby oil right now just to take off my waterproof makeup because like my mascara that I'm wearing is waterproof. My brow gel thing is waterproof. 
Oh yeah, and my lipstick is waterproof, so I use that to take off all my waterproof stuff, and sometimes I just put it like all over my face too to wipe off everything, and then I take the makeup wipe and I just, and then I wash my face with that face wash. But yeah, I'm only using my baby oil thing only because I've had it for so long. Actually, it is cheaper than like using like real, I don't know, a brand name oil cleanse remover thing. I either use baby oil or just coconut oil. You can even technically use olive oil. Whatever you have, you know, I'm pretty inventive, but I definitely like just using really simple things. And I also use Burt's Bees Lotion for anyone's interested in like moisturizing. I'm bad about that too, only because I have naturally like oily skin, so I don't moisturize my body too often, but I try to at least like once a week again. <laughs> I'm bad with it. It depends also on the season, like how dry or whatever it is. So for my skincare, so for my eye cream, I use this Tarte Maracuja eye creams I got in like a set and it was only like $15. And I actually really love their products and I'll probably just keep on getting the mini size until I really feel like I just can rely on these products for the rest of my life. I really do like them, but I guess I'm just cheap when it comes to like, I don't know, things I want to have in my cabinet because I'm scared that I'll get bored of it and I want to use something else. So that's why I keep getting minis of everything. We'll see. But this is what I've been using for a while. I use that eye cream. It says it tightens and firms and does whatever. I mean, I don't really suffer with lines in general, so hopefully it's just maintaining what I have, I guess. It smells really nice. And I use the H2O moisturizer from Tarte as well. It feels so nice and it really hydrates my skin without making it feel like slick or oily. And it just disappears into my skin and makes it feel like plump. And I also use the just the straight up maracuja oil as like a serum. And again, it has tightening and firming properties. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just put a bunch of that on my neck and face like every day to make sure Everything stays firm, you know? Mm -hmm. And then this Origins eye cream I have is just left over from like, you know, one of those like mini Sephora sets. I like to try out products every now and then and I would just get like the trial sets of like a particular brand of skincare. A few months ago I tried like a bunch of stuff from Origin in their little mini packs and it was alright. I didn't really like it but I still have this eye cream left over. I don't think it really does anything. It claims to brighten and depuff, but honestly it just smells nice and it doesn't like irritate me, so I'm just using that up until I finish, but I definitely won't get it again because it's like whatever. If you watched my skincare video like a long, long time ago, like a few years back, I was into like really natural, holistic approach to skincare. And part of my regimen, I still keep two products from that video a long time ago and those are hydrosols. I don't spray them on myself every day now only because I'm lazy but I do use it a few times a week just to give it give me like a boost especially when I'm just feeling particularly dry or tired so I just spray those like on my face and just pat it down down to my skin it just makes me feel calmer so that's the only reason why I use those now. The two I have that are my favorites are the Douglas Fir Tree one because it smells like a Christmas tree and the other one is the Tulsi Holy Basil which smells like basil and is amazing. So it's always nice just to have one in your cabinet like for when you're just feeling like moody. It always just is a nice pick me up, you know. Oh yeah, I always have this benzoyl peroxide clean and clear acne thing. It's like 10%. And I've been using that like forever and ever. I don't get breakouts like, often, but every now and then around that time of month or if I get stressed or something, I definitely will break out somewhere. It would usually make my pimple go away like in a couple of days. Yeah, I always keep that in my medicine cabinet and I always bring that with me like wherever I go just in case I get a breakout. I am getting worried about wrinkles and all that stuff, but I do feel like it has to do with your sleeping and your working out and what you're putting into your body. So I'm always making sure that I'm drinking tons of water, meditating and de-stressing often. I try to get enough sleep, but sometimes I, I have to admit I do have struggles only because like my mind doesn't shut off and it's just blah, 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 blah. And I definitely just, you know, try to keep on top of my workouts and making sure I'm doing things every day that are just making me happy. Because, you know, the more, like, <laughs> you stay happy and stress-free, that will have an impact on your body as well. And the kind of food you're putting into your body. I'm still trying, working on just being more mindful of not eating too many sweets. Yeah, sweets is definitely, like, my struggle. Eating too much of it definitely doesn't make me feel good. And I know it's not doing anything 
for my skin either. So if you're feeling like internally like weighed down or like not feeling good about like what you're eating, then it's probably not good for your exterior as well. Lately, I've actually discovered that spicy foods are not good for me. I had the worst tummy ache of my life last week when I went to an Indian restaurant. I got like a dish that I normally get, but I got it in super spicy only because I just, I love spicy things and I think I can handle it, but this time it just did not agree with me and I had the worst stomach in my life. If it's making me cringe from the inside, it's like burning my stomach and then it's making my face pull on itself and just cringe, then I'm like, then I'm causing like my own wrinkles and just causing my muscles to tense and just everything not to feel good, you know? Just be aware of like how the food you're putting in your body affects your face on the outside, you know? If you're like going, uh, eh, then it's probably not good for your skin. I hope this helped you. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. All that stuff. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.